Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. The things that are not being truly communicated by the Spirit. There are people inside and outside. God draws them by Himself so that they will hear the precepts of the Spirit. And by the grace of God, in every city and in every region, God will always raise apostolic and prophetic platforms to not only regulate the spiritual climate within that region, but to serve as the gatekeepers within that region. Hallelujah. They serve as the envoys the communicators of divine truth. They serve as the, the ones with whom um, divine realities can be communicated. And so it is very, very important that we realize and appreciate it. Truly, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, the apostolic ministry is a strong ministry forget you can decide to do ministry men's way right but if you really want to carry the mantle and the grace of men like smith wigglesworth william seymour if you want to become a continuation of this system of god's kingdom advancement then you must stay it will cost you I've told us again and again, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are some things that are rewards. Listen, let me tell you. It is on account of this sacrifice that the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong. It says he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not. It's not just because, you know, a lot of times men of God threaten people with curses. If you touch me, I will curse you. No. The Bible says, a cause, causeless, shall not stand. So it's not just making pronouncements, but that there is a way that certain vessels sacrifice their, not just their life, their lifetime, to carry certain communications of the Spirit for a generation. They may look strange, you may not understand. However, they are often at the pivot of kingdom activities. And I say this so that we can appreciate the truths that we receive here and do not trivialize them. Don't just see Fridays or any other day as, okay, koinonia, let's come, worship team, and then the word comes, and then you pray, and then you exchange pleasantries. It's more than that. God is making you become something. And you have gone too far. Even if you live right now, it's like a virus. You have been infected. I lift my hands to you, you're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you, you're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God, awesome.
from God. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. My hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you. You're the all. Listen to what you are singing. I lift my hands to you, awesome God. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. Ask the Lord to open your eyes tonight. Open our eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord revealed something to me and told me to share it with the body of Christ. And please, I want you to pay attention to this teaching tonight. And I want you to give us many people, especially the ministers of the gospel. The Bible says, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. A true apostolic ministry is not bounded by this geographical constraint. This is just a platform. But the message is to the body. Hallelujah. I've spent my life studying the moves of God. Studying revivals. I have studied almost every known revival in human history that is recorded or at least noticed. I have studied the Great Awakenings. I have studied the Azusa Street Revival. I have studied the revivals in the times of the generals. Right from Alexander Dewe, Maria Woodward Eater, Madame Gunion. The European revival with men like Smith Wigglesworth. Great women like M. Semple McPherson and several others. I have studied the revivals in Nigeria right from the time of Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder to great apostolic voices like Apostle Babalola of Christ Apostolic Church to the holiness movement that was pioneered by great men like Pastor W.F. Kumui and several other people and then great men like Archbishop Benson Idahosa and then the spiritual renaissance that happened in the last 10 years that was the last time a major move of the spirit happened 10 years ago not just pockets of revivals. The last major move of the Spirit. Ten years. And this is a ten year cycle. And another one is about to begin. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God, I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God, I lift my hands to you. Awesome God, oh. one more time. I lift my voice. You're the awesome God.
Listen, in every major move of God, there are three things that have happened. Number one, open heavens. A strange season where the heavens are unusually open. Dimensions of graces and possibilities that would not otherwise have been experienced by the people within that region. There is an unusual open heavens. Manifesting in healings, miracles, civilization, industrialization, whatever it is. Number two. Intense and heavy criticisms and persecutions. The move of God has always been characterized by intense, heavy, almost unbearable persecutions. Number three, many, maybe not all, but many of the moves of God were cut short of their full spiritual potential. Many of the moves that you read, both in the Bible, we see men like Samson, who was appointed to be a judge. The full potential of the manifestation of his ministry did not find expression. Men like Moses, who was supposed to take the people out of Egypt, the land of bondage, into the land flowing with milk and honey. Something seemed to happen in the middle of those moves. And I have spent my life studying it because... The move of God that will return the Christ must be dealt with with precision, intelligence, and it must be finished to the latter. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to us tonight? Now, if you don't love God and the agenda of God, you will not find what I'm saying tonight interesting. If you are just a casual Christian wanting marriage, wanting a car, house, a good grade, and, and you just came because you are hungry, give me tea, give me bread. This will not concern you. But if you are one who is connected to the love and the agenda of God, this teaching tonight will resonate in your spirit. Many of you will not be able to sleep after this teaching tonight. Hallelujah. There are many reasons why Revivals start and there are many reasons why revivals stop abruptly. And if we do not identify some of these reasons, then we may not be able to completely live out the fullness of God's expectation. All over Nigeria as a case study, we see that there is an awakening, campuses, different non-denominational meetings, even churches that will otherwise not be open to certain dimensions of the spirit. The eldership may not be open, but there is a renaissance happening in the youth ministry. The youth and the children, something they themselves cannot explain. And in the midst of the persecutions and the rest, it's like a fire that cannot be quenched. Are we together now? This is very important. But more tragic is the reason why revivals end. Revivals end because of a very simple factor. And it's called the humanity. The humanity of men. The humanity. Please pay attention. The very fact that men are human. Is a big limitation to the sustenance of the move of God. Every revival, every spiritual pursuit that has gassed out happened because the humanity of men impeded the pace with which the spirit was going. Are we together? Now let me tell you something. 
When God begins to use you, pay attention. When God begins to use you, the devil will never come to attack you. He will only attack you before you are being used. But if he does not prevail, he will not come when the move starts. The move of the Spirit and the gift of the Spirit will be working in your life and hell will be quiet. Please watch this. You will continue building the churches, building the cathedrals, healing the sick, doing mighty things and hell will be silent. Sometimes you can be mistaken that it is just your faith that is flawlessly defeating the devil. Keep going. Satan is not a fool. He is a liar. He is a deceiver. But he is not a fool. Satan has an advantage of age. And that advantage of age has afforded him the opportunity to study mankind. Are we together now? Before our dispensation of humanity started, he was there. And he has studied the moves of God right from Bible and modern history. And he knows that there is one factor. It's called the humanity of men. The humanity of men. The fact that men are human and frail is something that if you do not understand and create a spiritual system that overcomes your humanity, you may never last in the move of God. I lift my hands to you. I sing this song because I woke up with it while I was just waiting upon the Lord. I, I started singing it from the realm of the spirit. You know there are songs, I told you that songs are like ladders in the spirit. There are times that songs represent what God is doing in a season. So you have to keep singing them until the essence of their strength is ministered to you. Then the song will stop ministering to you. Not that the song has lost its power. It has accomplished what it was sent to do. There are many songs that have come from this altar and we sing it for a few weeks and then it just dies down. It's an impartation. The songs help you rise to a dimension. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. One more time. Lord, we lift our voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. When John was caught up in Revelations, chapter 4 and 5, he was before the throne room and he began to see four living creatures that were a reflection of the multifaceted dimensions of the Christ. Because everything in the throne is a reflection of a dimension in God. Everything. From the elders to the creatures to the sea, right? To the rainbow, to the thunder. Everything is a reflection of the dimension of Christ. So when the Bible says his hair is as white as wool, it's a communication of his righteousness. When it says his eyes, is his face is like the brightness of the sun, and so on and so forth, right? But there are four living creatures that communicate to us the different dimensions of God that are resident in man. The first living creature that John reveals to us, and Ezekiel also shows us, right? And Daniel the prophet also sees that the first dimension is the face of a lion. The face of a lion reveals the dominion dimension of God. The fact that God is king. The fact that he is royalty. Incontestable with any king and any government. Please pay attention. The, the face of a lion reveals our dominion. 
It reveals the fact that we are kings and priests according to Revelation 5 verse 10. It says we have been made unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign in the earth. So that dimension of God shows you that you cannot be under situations and circumstances. It lets you know that you are like him in the similitude of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Are we together now? When you catch that dimension, then you have the consciousness of who you are in Christ. You have the consciousness that you will refuse to allow life situations to put you down. Are we together? The dimension of him being king. When he was born king, the wise men came and they offered gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to the king. Hallelujah. Now but... When you come around that dimension alone, it has a consequence. And the consequence of camping around only that dimension is pride and arrogance. Having the revelation of your kingship and your dominion and who you are in Christ alone is not a balance. In one of the visions, the prophet saw the four faces in one body. And then in another, they were separate. Because they see in part. And all of them prophesied according to the limit of their perceptions. Like when the Bible says the streets of heaven are made of gold. They are not made of gold. Gold was the best communication that his eyes could interpret with. It's more than gold. It's not gold. Are we together now? Is God helping us? And so, we see that pride is the natural consequence of camping around that dimension. And so, you have arrogant people in the body of Christ. Right? You give them pure water, they throw it back at you and say, I'm a king. Kings don't take pure water. Get me Eva, cold one, in a tray. Serve me like a king. All of this childishness are manifestations of this exaggeration of one dimension and God knows so immediately to balance it the next face is the face of a calf and a calf speaks of servanthood and so you are reminded immediately that you are not only a king but you are a servant are we together now that servanthood dimension now comes to balance your revelation of you being a king so that as you move around, I cannot do this. You will realize that the reason why you are giving dominion is to serve. Many people hate being called servants. Because our theology has taught us that sons and servants, servanthood is an insult to sonship. Go and read your Bible and you will find out that the hallmark of sonship is servanthood. The ultimate proof that you are a son indeed is when you become a servant. It says, permit this mind to be in you. Philippians 2 from verse 5, which was also in Christ Jesus. He said, although he was equal with God, a king, he did not consider it as a thing to be grasped. Then he reduced himself to become a servant, dying the death on the cross. So he says, let that mind be in you. That the moment God anoints you, you realize that that servanthood dimension must find expression in your life. There are many men who are not true servants, especially in the body of Christ. We have kings, Oga, but very few people are servants. That shepherd's heart, that servant heart, many men of God lack. They don't pray for their congregations. They cannot pay the price to serve. Jesus was teaching this dimension and he called the disciples and girded his loins with a towel and got water. And told all of them, come, I want to wash your feet. In ancient times, because they didn't have means of transportation like us, they could use camels and the rest and then they could walk. So when you came into the house of a man, part of the respect is that their servants or other people would come to wash your feet to make it clean. Then you can get into the house. And Jesus said, I want to do it for you. That's why the disciples were amazed. You can't do this, come on. We have seen you at the apex of your ministry. You are a king indeed. He said, don't worry. Peter said, no way, I won't allow you. Then he told them something. He said, if I, being Lord, has washed your feet, make sure you go and do the rest. 
it doesn't mean go and watch the feet of others take this ideology as you do ministry that when you get to a point where you are king remember you are servant too let me tell you something the reason why many people never access certain dimensions of god is because that dimension is revealed and left for servants one of it is the dimension of illumination and spiritual revelation until you become a servant, you will never have access to true light. The Bible says, Revelations 1 verse 1, it says the revelation of Jesus, which he gave unto his servant John. Right? He gave unto his servant John. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 1, when, when Moses was dead, hear God's testimony about him. He came and he said, Moses, my servant is dead. Paul, the very one who taught us sonship and revelation of our dominion in Christ, calls himself, I, Paul, a bond servant. The word bond servant, there, for you to understand the concept of bond servanthood, you must understand what we call the concept of jubilee. In ancient time, jubilee was after seven Sabbaths. That means seven years, right? Once the Sabbath year is always the seventh year. And so after seven Sabbaths, 49 years, the 50th year is declared a season of Jubilee. And certain activities happen in that season of Jubilee. Are we together now? Yeah. In the season of Jubilee, if you owed somebody or someone owed you, you release them. They go free. And then if you had servants and slaves that maybe you captured in the time of war, you would release them to go free. But watch this, if in the course of the slave's service to his master, the master treated him well and with love, on the day or in the year of jubilee, listen, when he now releases the servant to go, the servant will say, I'm free now, but I choose to return to you. Are you together now? I return not because you now captured me in war. I return willingly and I want to continue serving you because you are a good master. And that way, the master will now pierce his ears and put earrings in it as a symbol that, look, I am not violating Jubilee. This guy had an opportunity to go, but he came and willingly gave himself because of love, not chains. It was in that similitude. He says, I, Paul, a born servant. Meaning, I have a choice so, to pack up and say, God, I don't have any business with you. But the love of God has constrained me as though a man who is under chains. Are we together now? I, Paul, a bond servant. Paul rejoiced at the excellency of being called a bond servant than being called an apostle. I, Paul, a bond servant. A bond servant. At the end of his life, he looked and he said he was the least of all the apostles. That it was a privilege for him to have served. Is God speaking to us? Two dimensions. Now again, just like the first, there is a limitation too. When you stop and come around you just being a servant alone. Are, are you getting blessed already? When you stop around that dimension, the trouble is... You can get to a point where you can literally kill yourself. And so the next phase gives you a balance. The face of a man. That's where your humanity comes into place. The third revelation that balances up servanthood is your humanity. There are times that people walk their lives out in a bid to pursue the agenda of the kingdom. People literally wear away their body. One man in modern history and modern revival who was a victim of that was the Welsh revival. Right? Um, what's his name? Many of you don't know them. Evan Roberts, thank you. Evan Roberts was a young man. He lived only a few years after the revival and he died because he got to a point where, like I'm sharing with you, the burden of the Welsh revival. I mean, the city of Wales and all this place was catching fire. People would literally read about the, the revival on newspaper and then explosions of the gifts of the Spirit, explosions of salvation and the rest. 
and he felt a need. He was so tired, he was not sleeping, he was not resting, he paid little attention to his health. And he literally weared himself to death. The third dimension that we see in the throne room is the face of a man. And this is very important, especially for men of God. Because sometimes we are embarrassed to admit the fact that we are humans. Because we, we have taught a theology that absolutely lets us know that we love God and we fear God, which is correct. But then we are embarrassed to accept our humanity. And we wear ourselves out. There are men of God who are embarrassed to eat food. They don't eat where people are because they feel if I eat, you would think I'm not fasting, I'm not a, a serious person. And people do all kinds of things. There are people who, who specifically work themselves to being lean intentionally. Not necessarily because he was fasting that made them so. It's like a pride because it looks like those who really carry the anointing are not fat. You say, watch A and B and C. Why will you be like this? We don't trust this anointing you carry. And so people literally strangle away their humanity in a bid to justify that they are spiritual. Jesus, your Savior, who was the Christ, got to a point in his life where when he went to funerals, he wept. When they told him, Lazarus, whom you love, is dead. He went and he had to break down. It never meant he was not God. Are we together? He broke down and wept. When John the Baptist, his cousin, was told that he had died, he retreated away from ministry and ran to a mountain just to go and mourn John. And when he went to mourn John, people just heard he was passing. Let me tell you something. It's amazing the kinds of expectations that people have for you when you carry the anointing. They don't expect you to be human. Are we together now? Absolutely. So let it not be strange to you, men of God, when you find out that people's expectation, you can walk yourself to death. There are people who call maybe around 1 or 2 o'clock. And I pick and I'm like, ah, and I say, ah, apostle, you are sleeping. <laughs> now, I don't understand the meaning of that, but if I do, this is what it means. Come on now. I mean, I'm sleeping, you are sleeping too. Who is praying for who? <laughs> See that? And sometimes, as funny as it is, that statement embarrasses you. It looks like a sting to your 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 spiritual perception the way that they have perceived you and you feel no 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 i wasn't sleeping i was just nodding my head around i'll soon read the bible are we together now the face of a man there was a time on Sunday, Jesus was hungry. I'm sure after service, he was on his way and he just meandered into a field of corn. Ha! And the people saw him. And they were surprised. And then this and that and that, he had an encounter and then he ate corn and people were saying all kinds of things. There was a time that um, the prophet was hungry. Have you read that? Who was hungry? Say it again was hungry. As soon as he got to the woman, the widow of Zarephath, he said, Madam, water. Not what is your problem. Madam, service my humanity. I'm dying. I've trekked a long distance. While she was coming, he said, please prepare bread for me quickly. And the woman said, Abba, man of God, be, be fair on me. You are a prophet. Don't you have the eyes to see? What happened to your eyes? There was a time, the family of a prophet, they were about to carry the children as collateral. Is it in your Bible? There was a time, Elijah, the fiery prophet, was afraid and a woman made him run. A man called down fire on soldiers but ran away from a woman. He ran away to a point that God had to say, Elijah, why are you here? He said, God... 
Just follow me. I'm, I'm coming with a very powerful message. Are we together now? Humanity. Jesus, the Christ, almost aborted salvation willingly. Many of us do not know. The Bible says we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmities, limitations. Jesus was tempted like us in every way. One time, um, let me share with you something very humorous. Uh, I think we're, we're somewhere and a very pretty lady was passing and we're all looking. Me too, I was looking. Listen, <laughs> when I was looking, I noticed, I won't tell you the person who, who was with me. He now tapped me and said, ah, apostle. <laughs> and I quietly, I was, not to mean, ah, man of God, what happened to your spiritual seriousness? Ah, no, 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 you are not supposed to be seeing this. You are supposed to be seeing men like trees. Hallelujah. Never forget that part of your construction of being like Christ, in that design, your humanity was not taken away. It was left there. Jesus at Gethsemane looked at the Father and for the first time, he wanted to reject being the Word. Because the word means living logos, meaning a manifestation of the thoughts of a man. Anything Jesus was doing, that was what the father was thinking. Are you following me now? And for the first time, he wanted to do what God was not thinking. He said, Father, if it be thy will, Kai, mm. let this cup, brothers and sisters, if it happened to Jesus, it will happen to you. I know that you will receive this. You will hate me. You say, yes, come back now. I'm back. Are we together now? If it be possible, take this cup off me. But then he quickly remembered. He said, nevertheless, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Here is my heart. My mind, Lord, is my, life. my everything, take it, it's yours alone. Sing it one more time. Here is my heart, my mind, Lord, is my life. my everything. Listen, the humanity of man is a very serious part of him. We overlook it, but this is the part that destroyed people in revivals. Let me quickly just round up the four living creatures and then we'll get into the crux of the matter. Sometimes, God brings the balance again. You can be so human. Listen, that... If you allow your humanity to have a toll on you, it will cause the devil to wreck you and destroy your life because you will give excuses for everything and say, I am human. Are we together now? And so a pastor gets to a point where he's weak and weary and he starts sleeping around with everybody and if people are saying, he who does not have stone to have um, seen to cast the first stone. In 10 years, I slept with two ladies. Wouldn't you clap for me? Didn't I try? You know, we are human. And people say, it's true. It's true. That was what Jesus invoked to free the woman who was caught in adultery. He said, he who does not have sin. In other words, whoever among you here who wants to claim his humanity is not finding expression, cast the first stone. And the priests and the Pharisees remember the things they have done around the temple that people have seen. Just threw the stone and went away. Then the final revelation is that you are divine. The face of the eagle. 
So when you get to a point where you are so human, sometimes it can bring weakness in you, inferiority in you, and it can let you see that this assignment is impossible. No, I can't do this. God, you are giving me a mandate to the nations. I'm, I'm only a child like Jeremiah. I'm only 21 years. I'm only 30 years. I'm only 40 years. I'm only 50 years. Or I'm alone. And he told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child. I'm aware that you are human. Or like Moses who said, Lord, I'm a stammerer. Stammerer, are you deaf? Have you not heard me pray to you? How long did it take you to get the words together? I'm a stammerer. And God said, who created the body? Do you not know that you are divine? You must get to a point where you realize that in spite of your humanity, you are divine. That gives you comfort. Hallelujah. Now back to revivals. So that you can appreciate the things that I'm saying. I showed you these four dimensions. Because every one of them represents the progressions of true revival. It first starts with revelation and access. Possibilities. Before God begins to use you, he brings you to a point where you see that the nations are conquerable. Have you seen people like that? Oh my goodness. About to be used by God. Lord, I can take this city. Give me Zaria. Give me Nigeria. Give me Kaduna State. Give me the north. Give me the world. I can establish the church. Lord, you are revealing to me that my ministry will have 1,000 branches. I'm ready for it. That's the lion speaking. Because the lion is a bold animal. Are we together? The king of the jungle. Fearless. So you say, Lord, it doesn't matter. I will heal the sick. Let them criticize me. I will heal. Then God says, all right, thank you. This is all I want. The gates be opened. Then you become a calf. And then, by the time you are serving people, the very people you are serving begin to stab you. You start a church and somebody comes to collect the church from you. Ah, You were not told that that was part of the things you will meet in the journey. When the brothers, remember Joseph showed us this. He woke up and had a dream and said, I saw it. The sun, the moon, 11 stars were bowing down. And the father looked, he said, you mean even me will bow to you? Joseph said, are you joking? This is my destiny. But he did not know the progressions that will lead to that destiny. Are we together? Then his brother betrayed him. Before he would reconcile, they now sold him into slavery. Before he would settle on that one, a woman now comes. He was almost, I'm sure you would think that promotion was now coming for him, that they were making him, Potiphar was now liking him. Then, that thing that was supposed to be an advantage, one day he goes to Potiphar's house and meets a woman who looks at him. And that becomes the source of his trouble. His service and faithfulness to Potiphar got him into trouble. And then, to jail. Then he now interprets the dream to somebody who forgets about him for two years. Are we together now? And then he became human. He broke down. Listen, let me tell you the truth. And men of God, learn this. The moment you begin your journey of servanthood, realize that you are human. So when a revival starts, Satan will never strike when it is the lion that is moving. Keep moving. Oh, all of you come and see what God is doing. There is a move of God in this nation called Koinonia. Look what God is doing. Joshua Selman and everybody is happy. Then he begins to serve. Mm. Then a day comes, you look and say, is he only Ben Gada who preach or pray? Then a day will come, you now look and say, what does it take to sit in front here? Then a day comes when you begin to go through fierce persecutions. Your church suddenly turns to you and says, we have noticed that there are some radical young people in this church who are not complying by the constitution of the church and we are about to take a very decisive action. And you are wondering, that is me. And then you stand on stage and the preaching is all about you. There are people, some of you are sitting here looking at me. And these people are the ones who 
insult elders and they do all kinds of things they pray in one language like that and so on and so forth and, and then you are amazed your life becomes first you will you will pretend you can take it that's usually how we are forget it I'm, i mean i'm it's not today Odeshi. she <laughs> then you continue the church starts the ministry starts right or as a sister the marriage does not come lord i will keep serving you marriage or no marriage what is a man's self the devil does not come then that's just a servant speaking wait until the human starts speaking a day comes in your life no matter who you are you will have to stand face to face with your humanity servanthood reaches its end and he says i've tried the bible says do not muzzle the ox that treads upon the corn because even it can be tired are we together now hmm. it is at this point where your humanity comes in the reality of the vicissitudes of life you are serving god in ministry but you just hear a news that somebody in your family died and you are saying, what is, what is going on? As if that is not enough. You just hear that your elder sister's husband beat her and threw her out. And said, Lord, you are faithful. I will give you thanks in all things. The servant is still speaking. Satan never comes. It's like a spiritual meter. He keeps watching. And then a guy comes into your life and you are happy. You are saying, Lord, so finally, this is how you have planned it for me. Before your smile finishes, he just sent you a text and said, we went to pray. And honestly, they told me you are not the one. It's not like you are bad. It's just that you are not the one. You now add the balance of that pain on what has been there. And a day comes like Jesus, you will break down. Listen, people lie in church. That's why we don't access to it. Those times are the times you go to pray and there are no words to say. You just keep moving up and down. It's not like you don't have prayer points. You don't even know what to say. You don't know if it's tongues. You will start or praise and worship. You play a song and off it back. The song that used to bless you is like it's irritating you. Hmm. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you gotten to that point in your life where as a man of God you carry your Bible and you can't read it? It's not backsliding. You open it and you don't know what else to read. At that point, the devil is ready to come. When Jesus was fasting to prepare for ministry, Satan was just hanging around. He knew there was a time he would come. When Jesus was weak at the apex of his humanity, then Lucifer comes and says, Jesus, Jesus barely answered and said, Kai, but you say, Abba, how can you be killing yourself when it is within your power? Have you forgotten you are the word? If you have forgotten, let me remind you. Once my master, always my master. Let me remind you, Oga, you can turn stones to bread. Don't think Jesus just say, oh, God forbid. No, it's not true. It's not the way the Bible puts it. There are possibilities you may never consider until you are a human being. Are we together? You made a vow that you will never marry a married man as a second wife. And a time comes when your humanity comes. Satan can come directly or through a friend and say, see, there's a way we do it. It's not, are you a fool? There's a, you can you can plan this thing and for the first time in your life you will you will be shocked that you are considering that possibility you will rebuke yourself afterwards but at that point or the first time a married woman now looks at a young man of 21 and something rings in her that can't i have this boy as a sugar son since this stupid man is not is not around now listen those who do not understand spiritual growth will criticize those people and say, I'm, I'm disappointed. How about my mother? No. Humanity. Are we together? 
I've seen pastors who got to a point where they told them, look, you are suffering, no? If you want ministry to move, what is there to wash your eyes? Abba, you are behaving as if you are the only one. After all, the most important thing is your salvation. Are you not born again? Say, yes, I am. Let them wash. It's an addition. It's all, it's still God. No matter how it comes. But let me tell you, you get to that point. A man of God once called me and a prophet told him that he can help him and, and fix some things and there were certain flakes and leaves that he would bury around the church. True story. And you'll be fasting for seven days. He said at the seventh day, even if a pin passes his head, is over him, his eyes will see it. It's easy to talk when you have crowd. Wait until you walk with 12 people for three years. The devil will, he will come before then he will allow you. Have you seen people like that? You want to give them something, they refuse. God forbid, leave them. When they search around, no options. You now come and say, are you in any way interested in this? It has happened to ladies. A guy will ask them at 24, say me, you, look at you. The guy will leave them. He will come back at 35 and say, I'm still around. Say, please, I don't know about... He said, I thought you said God. Say, say, forget, God has spoken again. The humanity of men is something that killed these revivals. Watch this. So when this revival is started, Satan tried to stop it. But when he found out that it was too late, he said, I'm coming back. Read your Bible. The Bible says he left Jesus for a season. And he waited. At the apex, he now started bringing people into the meeting. And they started saying, look, the whole city is already taking this man... We are losing our ground here. Let's start coming up with something. And all of a sudden, Judah started looking at the treasury and said, me, I know what is there. I'm the one counting the money. Why are we not helping ourselves? The Bible says those who walk by the altar should live by the altar. What is all this one? I can't be holding money that I'm not spending. All those motions are Satan coming back. There was a time he entered Peter and spoke to Jesus. And Jesus looked and said, Kai! Get deep behind me. And Satan said, you saw me. I'm coming back. This time around, he came in through Judas. That's what happened to Samson. Samson got to a point where he tore the lion. Satan said, leave him. Kill the lions. Continue. And then at the point where he needed a wife so desperately, a strange woman came called Delilah. Samson was helplessly under the influence of this woman till he lost his, his, um, his hair and his eyes. Catherine Kuhlman was a woman of power. This woman moved in dimensions of the spirit very few people in our generation have walked in. But the time came she remembered that she was human. She wanted a man in her life like every woman will. And her keyboardist the people who would come to church and pray. Her humanity caught up with her. And her inability to manage that humanity aborted certain things. Alexander Doe got to a point where people exalted him. He was the spiritual mayor of his city. And then he got to that point and men said, look, there is no difference between you and Elijah. We can literally put the Bible and see that you are him. He first said, no, 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 no. All glory to God. After a while, he said, truly, but me too, let me talk to myself. I'm really Elijah. And he went and dressed in Elijah regalia and died. Are we together? William Branham, the uncommon prophet, a man whose eyes were like that of an eagle. He would be talking with you, a stranger, as if you have met. It's not just like word of knowledge. Okay, your head is this, um, your this is that, you have tenor in your wallet. No. I mean, he would be talking and say, Femi, um, how are you? How is Rema? This is how he talks. This is a stranger he has never seen. Say, so what's the other challenge in, in, in Rema? What, what is the problem? Uh, but have you considered discussing it with uh, your uncle, Ule? This is, this is a stranger. That's how William Branham operated. 
It's not just like he will give you a word of knowledge, then you will confirm. You don't have to confirm it. He's conversing with you. Yet he got to a point. A hollow was literally seen on his head when they snapped him. He operated in that dimension of grace. But he came to a point where his humanity started tampering with the divine revelations he was writing. And he started writing certain teachings at the end of his life that became an error that even certain sects in the body of Christ have not recovered from today. Satan comes to you at a point where servanthood has led you to see your humanity. At that point where you are down, then he comes. He comes with suggestions. Very subtle yet forceful. He comes with all kinds of things. I say this not, not in criticism to the glory of God. The latest of this catastrophe that happened to the body of Christ happened this year. Right? I say it because it's something that is known. God TV. Rory and Wendy Alec. God TV is about maybe the second largest TV, Christian TV station after TBN. Is that true? TBN right now is almost, it's, it's, it's almost down. You know why? Because at the apex, when several things were happening, Crouch, um, 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 Jim Crouch, and then the other man, they are all dead now. At that point, the woman was struck with cancer. Bam! And it became an indictment in the ministry. Then all kinds of scandals started evolving. And before you know it, their humanity caught up with that reality. And right now, the ministry is where it is. God TV. Benny Hinn, at, as at the beginning of this year, when they were buying a, up a property in Plymouth, right? Benny Hinn was there. Look at all the notable men of God that came around. They held different regional meetings. Great men like um, Matthew Ashimolo and the rest were there. While that was happening, the financial ministerial burden on the man was depressing him, his humanity. They needed millions of dollars within a short time to pay for that place. And it was depressing him. And in that depression, he started, you know, when people are humans, they become stupid. They do things you never believe can happen. And so he started having an affair with a woman outside of his wife. Very beautiful woman. See that? And then when the world was about to say, we see the revival that is coming. One day he got up in the place of work and told the world, I quit from God TV and left. Left the ministry till today. The great man of God, Benny Hinn, a figure that we know and we admire and love so much, about three years ago, was preparing to go for a crusade when he was almost collapsing. And people said, no, this is, this is terrible. I mean, this is a man, this is a healing evangelist. He went to the hospital. They had to give him magnesium shots and all of that. And shortly after that time, in February that year, preparing for another crusade and a divorce letter comes. In less than 24 hours, about half of the partners in the ministry left. Benny Hinn, our great Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn was broken. Benny Hinn was broken, my wife. I have taught on integrity in marriage. We have grandchildren. When a grandmother leaves her husband, that's a serious issue. We have grandchildren. Couldn't you just endure? No, we are humans. I don't know if God is ministering to you tonight. One person that has overcome is Benny Hinn. I love him. He has shown the world in modern day that it is possible. When they were joining him and the wife I was watching, I followed it. And I looked at him. I said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel, you have shown we the people coming that it is possible. A man can conquer the grip of humanity. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. 
I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. Every revival that fell, fell because Satan struck at the point where the people were humans. But they did not sustain the technology in the spirit. They didn't know. They knew how to receive power. But they, they, they did not know how to conquer this body. Paul said, I beat my body daily. Is it in your Bible? How many times? Daily. He said, let, let it not be that after having preached, I myself will be a castaway. Isaiah shows us the key. Chapter 40, please. Shiva Kata For some of you, you will not need this message now. You will need it 10 years from now. You will look for this tape like the deer pants after the water. Verse 28, Isaiah 40 verse 28. Now you'll understand what the Bible was saying. Help us media. We'll read down to 31. Hallelujah. And so, he began to tell us, watch this, has thou not known? Question. He said, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, you know what everlasting means? No weakness, no backsliding. Every time the Bible begins to give God these qualities, is because He's trying to contrast Him to the limitation of man. He says, God is everlasting. There are no breakages, no rising and falling. He says, The Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. Listen, the Bible says, He what? Faints not. So the Bible is talking about fainting. Mm. This is not backsliding. This is the humanity of man. He's helping us and showing us a key that will keep us 30 years in ministry. And when all the dust settles, you are still standing. Are we together now? 30 years in life that people will not look at you and say, I remember promise. There was a time this guy carried fire. There was a time in Zaria or in Abuja. If you talked about promise, you were synonymous. But right now, he says he fainted not, neither is he what? Weary. Then he says there is no searching of his understanding. In other words, there is a system in him that makes that possible. And he's about to reveal it to us. But he says he giveth power to who? The faint. And to them that have no might, he increased strength. Everybody read if you are a Christian. One, two, read. Even the youth shall faint and be where he stopped. Did he say may faint? The Bible says the glory of the young man is in his strength. But he said no matter how strong you are, if you are in this world, your humanity will catch up. It says the young men shall faint. A day will come your courage and your, or your audacity will come to a point where you do not even know what to believe again. Please go back, go back, 30. Just stay there. 30. It says, and the young men shall what? Mm. This is a prophet speaking, you know. He's not just a messenger. He's a prophet. And then he says, this is a possibility that you can come to. In ministry, in life, as a student, it's easy to see five carryovers in 100 level and say, God is faithful. Your latter will be greater than your past. But by the time you are in your final year, final session, and you see two carryovers all second semester, you come, you come for koinonia by two o'clock. 
and you sit alone. When people are making noise around you, you, you just go outside. And people are saying, are you okay? Have you been in a situation where food becomes like a resentment? You don't even want to eat. You don't know whether you are hungry or not. You don't know what part of your body is paining you. Is it your head? Is it your hand? If somebody is talking to you, the voice of people literally is like noise. You want to be alone. This is the name of where you have gotten to. The realm of weariness. I heard of a great man of God in this country who, because of depression a few years ago, was almost committing suicide. I, I can't mention his name, you know. But if I mention his name, some of you will be discouraged and say, I can't believe it. No, please tell me it's a joke. Literally, suicide. It was another man of God that called him and said, you can't do this. You can't do this. You have come too far. Hallelujah. The humanity of Judas caught up with him. He said there's no remedy. If he was only patient for two more days, salvation would be possible for him. If Judas was, was just patient for two more days, there was a possibility that with the resurrection of Jesus, he would be free. And the guy went. He didn't manage his humanity. He, hung, he bought a field with the money, hung himself, and died. God is ministering to people right now who you are at a point where your humanity is eating up with you. Your humanity. You are anointed, but you have not prayed for days. The truth is you don't even know what to say. The problems from home are overwhelming. Your father that you have been managing, you have been thinking that this man is improving. He has now done something stupid. There is an episode for the week he does. But the one for last week has discouraged you and you are saying, will I continue like this? From one bad news to another, when it keeps piling upon you, brothers and sisters, it will shit you bad. That's why the Bible says, in Daniel chapter 11 verse 32, it says, they that know their God, the first thing that will happen to them is what? Strength. Strength. The first fruit, the first benefit of really, really knowing God is strength. Strength there means capacity. Capacity. That you stand through the storms of life. You stand through the challenges of your humanity. I'll never forget a man who was on his way to go for a program with his children. And they were on phone. And the next thing, the line just cut. And he thought it was just um, maybe network and all of that. And trying to call back, he just heard that somebody called and they told him, please, an accident just happened. All your kids dead. And he went and still preached. I mean your children, not spiritual children. Physical children. They died like chickens. Not that they have been sick for three years and you have expected that they may pass on and prepare for it. One moment you are talking with children who are happy and then a line goes off and then they tell you they are all dead. Not in coma, dead. Listen. If you are living in the world of today, you must be prepared. You must sustain capacity to absorb the shocks that life brings if you want to stand. Otherwise, a time will come when you see people go to Habalis is because of their humanity. At the beginning of the sickness, they vowed they won't go to any herbalist. They won't go anywhere. But by the time the leg starts producing pus, and they said they are going to cut off everything, or by the time they say the cancer is spreading around the body, at that point, they'll say, look, there's somebody. Don't, don't kill, don't. At that point, you won't know when you will enter a shrine with a goat and say, please do whatever you will do. Your conscience is judging you, but your humanity is ignoring it. A time comes when a lady, because of her depression, just gives in to a man and says, sleep with me, do whatever you want to do. I'm human. I can't stand this. I've endured for 11 years. Taking care of myself, this is too much, please, if it will help me. Years ago, when we used to meet inside the campus, I shared a very touching story that made me... It, 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 it did something to me. There was a woman 
who was walking true story with a man and the nobody in the family was walking the father everything she was the pay was too bad and the family was at a point where they were choked financially i mean to the core and the woman went to the boss to plead that can he please give her a raise or promote her or give her extra jobs and the man smiled at her he had now gotten what he wanted because she was now vulnerable and he told that woman a married woman he said you know what you do if you are ready to comply by the terms i will promote you she first refused but when the financial burden pinned the family to a point that it was a matter of life and death people were sick no money to take care of them she discussed with her husband and said you are my husband at least i'm not cheating on you is with your consent can't i just sleep with this man i know some of you say god forbid keep quiet you see some of our elderly ones here just keeping quiet listening to me many young people say god forbid don't say god forbid until you are in a position that really pushes you to the wall and the man gave her a consent and she went and slept with the man truly truly he gave her a long sum of money she was so frustrated afterwards she left the job Men have done things in our world because of the reality of their humanity. Their humanity has caught up with them. And their inability to sustain what I'm about to teach you. There are preachers right now who are broken and discouraged. They don't know what to believe again. They have preached every message they want to preach. There are people who have practiced all the laws of prosperity they know to practice. Nothing is working. They are at a point where they are frustrated. There are families right now trusting God for the fruit of the womb. They have done everything. They told the man to leave that one and get another wife. He said, no, I'll be faithful. But now it's seven years and the man has already given the woman a last warning. If by December you are not taken in, I will leave you. Please go and look for another man. Many things that you will not accept when pressure pushes you to the wall, you will look at them and consider them passionately. Then the Bible tells us, here's the formula, 31. Media help us, 40 verse 31. Awesome God, I lift my hands to you. Awesome God, awesome God. But they that waits upon the Lord. It says they shall what? It didn't say they will hear him speak. They will renew their strength. It says they shall mount up with wings like an eagle. Then they will run. And Satan is waiting for when they will be weary. But he will never find that place. 20 years they are not weary. He says, don't worry. After 21 years they will be weary. 30 years they are still moving. Because like God they have caught the system. There are men who Satan has been waiting for when they will go down. And he has found out that days are turning to weeks. Weeks to months. Months to years. Years to decades. Because of this system. That those who wait upon the Lord. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. So although you are human, when you started the ministry, they said, leave him. When building projects starts, all your anointing and revelation will scatter. You will stand and you will preach John 3, 16 and you will quote Revelation 1 verse 1. But then like play, they will see a building rising. Rising. And then they will say, don't worry. By the time members start criticizing him, in the midst of it, you are still moving. You have sustained a key in the spirit. Are we together now? And the key is that they that wait. It's not just about fasting. It's a spiritual system that remedies for the encumbrances of your humanity. Since the Bible says for the fact that you are human, weariness and fainting, and falling is an inevitable possibility, humanly speaking. Then he gives you a strategy. He says, every time you start sensing that your humanity 
is dominating your spirituality. He says, wait upon the Lord. He didn't say go to God and go and discuss. He just said, wait upon the Lord. For when you wait, among the many things that will happen, is that there will be a renewal of what? Strength. Proverbs chapter 14. I leave my hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. I leave my hands to you. You're an all. 14 verse 4. I leave my hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. Go ahead and read it, everyone. One, to read. It said, but much increase is by what? Of what? An ox. Listen. It said, much increase comes. Not just by strength. He tries to use an animal that, he, that can help him communicate the level and the order of strength we must have to finish. An ox is a strange animal. It's a farm animal. It's a very, very... When, when you see an ox, really, ox is not a very nice animal. When you come close to it, it even smells. An ox has no business with his physical outlook. All an ox is concerned about is labor. The vision that is set before it. An ox literally can drive a cart or a farm, a farm um, object through the farm. Through mountains, valleys, it will still push it. It gets to a point where it hooks and you will see it breathing. Uh, 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 and you think it's about to finish and it will push it again and continue until it crosses over the mountain. And the Bible says, if you must stand and finish strong, you must sustain strength like an ox. That animal that communicates resilience. That at the point where your humanity catches up with you. Like Job while you are crying with the boils. While you've lost everything. You can say, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time. I know that there is whatever has a beginning has an end. If this issue has a beginning, it has an end. I sustain strength to continue. A time comes when it looks like members are leaving your church. Members are leaving your ministry. Ministry is not growing. You are praying for the sick. And it's as if the anointing does not seem to find expression. And this thing is destroying you. He says, by the strength of an ox. An ox. Is the animal that even if it cannot move forward, it doesn't go back again. It stands there until rescue comes to it. Very strong animal. Many Christians, many, many Christians, I have seen this thing. I've seen it like I'm seeing your face. That in, I'm talking of a few years, because of the unfolding of the culmination of this phase of the move of God and that which is starting, not many people will be able to stand the kinds of persecutions that will come in the church, will come on individuals. There are many men of God who will literally quit ministry. There are many women who will divorce their husbands because they are pastors and whatever, because of financial hardship that comes upon people. I prophesied in 2007 about the recession that will start. People laughed at me. People criticized me. When it hit, I said, I saw another one coming. That's not the only one coming. And brothers and sisters, when this tsunami hits and the earth begins to burn like an oven, you will see compromises of all sorts. Men who would never have bribed will bribe. Ladies who will, who will say, me, I have to marry a man of, somebody who loves God, will now say, anyhow, please salvage us. There are many ministries that will go through seasons of shakings. 
there are many men of God. Men of God who you had never had issues about. Men of God who were not even known for scandals. You will begin to hear things. Now, whether it's false or real is not the issue. Is that it is there. You will see great men, fathers of faith, who will, it's, it's almost like they are almost being brought on their knees. Some of them will be accused directly by governmental authorities. Some of them will be linked to corruption. I'm telling you this, write it down. Some of them will be linked as they are pointing out people who are corrupt. They will link their churches and their membership to certain kinds of corruption. And the devil will orchestrate it such that they will be indicted in diverse ways. But it will take the strength of an ox. Some of their own members will write articles about them and destroy them and tear them down. Some of them will finally vent out their suspicions. But beyond this mountain of pain will come a move of the Spirit and the excellency of His glory upon the church in unprecedented dimensions and especially the church in Nigeria. Every church called upon by God will go through this season. I guarantee you. It's not something you will pray against. It's something you will receive strength. Listen. Not every cup in the kingdom can be pushed away. There are certain cups you only receive grace to drink them. He said, I want to sit by your left and right. And he said, are you willing to be baptized with my baptism and to drink of my cup? This is a very scary teaching tonight. See the way people are quiet. I say, why did I come for Koinonia today? He says, by the strength of an ox. I see this thing happening to men. Many men. I saw it in the visions of the Lord. Fathers who had been faithful for many years now started being unfaithful to their wives. That's what the Bible says. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of self. I saw a lot of pastors who got into drinking. Drinking and smoking. I saw pastors getting into drugs. And I said, my goodness, not just drugs to satisfy themselves, drug as business. Because the financial pressure of ministry was coming upon them. I saw people slaughtering babies. Babies. Even the young men will be weary. They will fall. You who used to love God, you had all kinds of ambitions. You have gathered people and said, God said we should start a church. You just gas out and sit and say, this thing, is it worth it? Is it not better for me? Is it not better for me to just sit quietly? There are times many of you will blame God for anointing you. You will literally blame God and say, Lord, I was minding my own business. What is all this one? Like Amos, I was just an ordinary farmer. You now came and called me, oh, I didn't tell you I wanted ministry. strength we are in the seasons where this will begin to happen i saw a release of strange arsenals from hell i saw them flooding into nigeria like bees like black bees spreading it's like they had been kept for a time as this see when when i tell you these things i want you to know that my heart is heavy as i say it i wish i didn't have to say it but it's the truth Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. So many things. Many believers will say, where is our God? Many people whose Christianity is not founded on love for God will leave God. They will leave God in, in unbelievable ways. They will turn their backs directly on God. Brothers and sisters, when you begin to see this, it has already started happening for many of you. There are three phases that this will happen in. Number one is individuals. Number two is maybe churches or groups or territories. And then number three, nations and continents. We will see this thing. It's the birth pain of a new revival. It's like a woman who is in a labor room. 
Never allow the assignments of hell to prevail over you. Please hear me. I speak to you prophetically. Those seasons will come in your life. Believe me. You will thank me for this when the seasons come. It will look like everything you have believed is under fire. It will look like everything you have read about is a lie. Some of you will stand and almost feel like committing suicide. It's already happening to some of you. I want you to know that there are birth pains of a new dimension. And it is not a time to give up. Do not let your humanity swallow you for just beyond it. Joseph was almost giving up. And by the next day he was the prime minister. God is counting on us for strength. God is counting on us. Many of you will walk alone. Listen, some of you who are used to group endorsements, oh, endorse me. For some of you, it will be a lonely road. Believe me, you will walk alone. Some of you, your parents will look at you and insult you. They will say you are good for nothing. You are, you are a disgrace to me. I gave birth to you. Look at what other children are doing. The more you claim you are spiritual, the more you are failing in life. I'm ashamed of you. And you will walk in that lonely path. You will discuss things with your friends that they will use against you. And stab you to your back and say, I did it. At that point, you will almost not want to trust anybody again. But I'm telling you this. Sustain capacity in the spirit. Those days will come. They are here already. I have seen them. Satan is out on a mission to discredit ministries and men of God. I, I saw like it was like bees that were released, like a swamp of bees. You will not imagine the levels of discrediting that Satan wants to bring to ministries. Why? So that their voice will no longer be heard. And then the people will be depraved. The Bible says, in the days of Samuel, when the word of the Lord was scarce. That's what Satan wants. That there be no abundance of the word again. Listen, I want you to know that your spiritual life is annoying the gates of hell. Don't you think your prayers in the night is a welcome development to hell? They want to ravage your family. But every time they want to step in, there is a voice that cries at the gates of heaven in the night. When God wants to make it look like every prophet is fake, there are already prophetic people that God is raising and Satan has spotted them. He has seen it. He tried to destroy your, your preparation. But since you did, not, you did not stop, then he will now begin to move in strange ways. He says, by the strength of an ox. Listen. I tell you this. Churches will be scandalized. In mysterious ways. Men of God will fall victims of women. In mysterious ways. That's why I talk to some of us who are jealous over women. Be careful. Don't just laugh around. And, and say anything goes. Be careful. It's good to be social. But the Bible says, be wise as serpents. He said, but be gentle as doves. Those who speak anyhow, carelessly talking anyhow, there are men of God that run their mouth anyhow. Don't give Satan an arsenal to strike you. But I see this thing happening. I see it happening. It's like an angel of death that is passing over. And only those who are immune will stand. I bring you this word from the throne. This is a word to the body of Christ. When the Lord showed me this, I said, my goodness. But beyond it, brothers and sisters, I saw an emergence of strange glory. Listen. I saw people coming out with tears in their eyes, but heavy levels of unction. Hmm. I saw women coming a lot of people, some with bruises on their body like blood. But I saw again, they were holding mantles. Like a cloak. Mantles. I saw others who had already crossed over. But they told people to hold their mantles and they went back into the fire to help other people. 
They had come out, but willingly they left it. I saw this happen. I saw families turn away from people. Families turn away from their children. I saw children turn away from people. I said, what is happening? Is the manifestation of these spirits. Is the birth pain of a revival. Everything that can be used against you will be used. Everything. Everything that can be used against you will be used. The gates of hell will release his arsenals everywhere. There are certain things you cannot stop, but you must build momentum. The Bible says, and the rains came, and the wind blew, but the house that was built on the rock stood. I lift my hands to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you, you're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God. One more time, sing it from your heart. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. Hear me. When this season come, strength and capacity is what will take men through. There are times you may not be able to pray, but make sure you stay. There are times you can't explain to anybody. Make sure you stay. When your ego is stung to the core, when all you have held leaves you, stand. Haven't done all to stand. He says, stand. When your gift and the ability of the Spirit upon your life is no longer appreciated, stand. When your loved ones who used to believe in you now turn and say, look, we even doubt if you are anointed, stand. 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 Hear the voice of the Spirit tonight. Stand. Haven't done all to stand. 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 It will cost you. You will have scars. But stand. He's the awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. He's the awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. You are the awesome God. This is how the miracle working power will come to the church. This is how signs and wonders will be restored to the body. This is how the prophetic will be restored. Will be restored. This is the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry. The capacity to stand. You will listen to this message a thousand times. I promise you. I say it to go ahead of you. A day will come. No other message will minister to you. You will hear this voice speaking in your dreams. You will hear it speaking in your visions. When you are about to give, give up, you will hear stand. Mm. Stand. Stand. He said, fear not. Isaiah 43. I have redeemed you. He said, I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. 
when you pass through the river it shall not overwhelm you he says when you walk through the fire it shall not burn you you want grace this is the way it comes you want power i'm not just talking of trying to say i'm anointed no he said let no man trouble me i went through it there is a scar brothers and sisters not every man speaks and heaven begins to back them like this there are scars preachers lie to you they tell you there are no scars but i want you to hear this voice from the throne it takes cars to command power in the spirit. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. The faithful God. You're the faithful God. Mighty God is a mighty God, mighty God, glorious God. Hey, hey. You're the glorious God, glorious God. We lift our voice to you. You're the awesome God. We lift our hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God. Hallelujah. There are rankings and there are promotions in the spirit. Hear me? When a man enters a new level of grace, you know. When a man touches a substance that is heavenly, you know. God is elevating men through these persecutions. But it's not going to come the way you expect. It won't come by clapping for you. No! Your voice becomes like the voice of thunder when you have gained power in the heavens is the awesome God awesome God you are the awesome God hey, awesome God I leave my voice to you you're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Hey, I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Though weeping endures for a night, it says joy comes. Though weeping endures for a night, joy. With the morning, it will look like morning will not come. Stand in the fire. Stand in the heat. Stand through the persecution. Stand through the pain. Stand is the betting of the anointing. Is the betting of power. Is the betting of glory. For out of the shadows of your pain, His glory will arise. Out of your tears, an unction will come upon your life. Out of your discouragement, out of your humanity, he that endures to the end. You may not be able to sing, but stand. You may not be able to cry, 
but stand. You may not be able to pray, but stand. You may not be able to listen to any message. You will call on friends that will run away from you. You will call on family members that will run away from you. But stand. 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 Is a dressing floor in the spirit. Is a white press in the spirit. The anointing is rising from that place. The anointing, power in the spirit, unction, grace, a message, an apostolic and prophetic mantle will be your reward when you endure. I lift my head to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my voice to you, awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you, you're the awesome God. Many people will criticize what I have told you now. Many people will say, forget about him. But I stand before the God whom I serve. And I tell you, it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. He said, that which I tell you in the secret, declare down upon the mountain top. I've gone through my own. For many people, you are in your seasons. Others, yours is to come. This message is ministering to certain people right now. Some of you, it is memory because you are past that level. For some people, it's strange because it will not minister to you until that door. In one minute, I'd like you to lift your voice. And say, Father, strength for the days ahead. Pray. Strength. Strength for the days ahead. Are you praying, Koinonia? Strength. Barada balada bala koto pros koto bariara bala raba. Shaga da bala raba, shaga da bala raba, shaga da raba. Lena na maria na 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 na. Raba da bala bala raba, shoto preka da bala raba. Oh Lord, we draw strength from the throne. Shaka da bala da maria da bala raba, shaka da preka da bala raba. Lena na maria na mas ka maria da bala raba. Shata bala da bala raba. Rekete te te. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord never told you, you will not go through storms. But he said, I will be with you. Hear this as a word of comfort. When all else fails, know that he is with you. I will be with you. Where you have no voice, call on him. Wait on him. Don't trivialize his presence. He's not one of many things. You will soon see that any other thing that is not him can truly not help you. Prayer point number two. Lord Jesus, hold my hands. Don't leave me alone. I know that there is a burden. I know that there is an anointing. But Lord, between where I am to the place of that anointing, hold my hands. That when I want to give up, let me feel your warmth. Lift your voice and pray. Shabarakatabaladabaladabash. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and declare and tell the Lord my love for you is unbending. It doesn't matter what I go through. Lift your voice and pray. Solidify your commitment. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, oh God. I love you. Through the storms, I still love you. My family may be having challenges, but I love you. There are situations around my life and my family that I cannot explain, but I love you. I love you. When I have no words to say, know that I love you. When I have nowhere to run to, know that I love you. When I have no one to talk to, know that I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I can't live like this. Lord, you are a just God. You must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not. I cannot be suffering because my father was a king. I can't be suffering because we worship idols. I was not there. Come on now. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents. I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child. Lord, we must negotiate this night. There is a way I'm going to hold on to you. There must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Listen. Hear me, friends. If you can hold on to the hand of God tonight, you will leave this place with something. But if you come here casually, you will keep clapping for people who came here desperately. There are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days. And they said, Lord, I'm holding on to you. Jabez's mother called him Jabez. And Jabez said, Oh God, thou, would you not bless me? Enlarge my coast. And the Bible said, God answered him. Hallelujah. The thief on the cross, after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness, he said, Remember me in your kingdom. Oh Lord, I do not come trying to justify myself. Lord, I know I slept around. That's why I have the terminal disease right now. I'm not trying to claim right. But I understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace. Lord, I know I used to drink and smoke. That's why I have liver condition. I know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry. It's as a result of my carelessness. I know I've not been tithing. I know I've not been, I've not been giving. I've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around. And I know that I gave Satan legal access. 
but tonight oh god i'm negotiating with you i come what do you think going to the throne of grace is it's not just to go and stand there you go and talk and say lord it is written it is written although it is true that the soul that sins die it is written also that it's not your desire that any wicked perish it is written you take the word of god the legal system of heaven he said produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Haya. arise shine my light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me we will arise arise our light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me hallelujah and i got angry i said lord if there is nobody to speak in my family i can't speak what is happening my younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination my elder sister for years would not get admission things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order come on now i prophesy let there be order listen if there is nobody to speak in your family the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says i provoke another voice i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i come with the rod of a higher priesthood hallelujah please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to working in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry 
are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed G abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called all of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mel melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. So tonight. I want you to believe jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 come on just pray in tongues for one minute something just entered my spirit 
as my father has sent me with the same equipping with the same equipping john 20 john 20 john 20 ah goodness john 20 are you there then said jesus to them listen peace be to you as my father has sent me he said even so send i you so he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him that means he equipped me the father did something to me and i'm about to do the same thing to you and it will make you do the works that he did watch this 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them he said this is the secret receive ye the holy ghost receive ye the holy ghost i transfer the ministry of the holy spirit from me to you let him walk with you and you will do wonders you will suddenly become a priest you will suddenly become a king the same way i set men free he will empower you and you will set men free the same way i spoke and it came to pass now the same way the holy ghost walked with me this was my secret receive ye receive that means you can reject him he said receive don't reject him receive when he comes to you receive his presence makes you become like jesus it's not about praying in tongues it's more than praying in tongues you receive him you can reject him jesus said when he comes receive receive don't reject many people have been rejecting him you are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal 
especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one nine verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called sadiq ibrahim i never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of hiv right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god will just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice 
you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship hallelujah lord jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only god that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like i see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just is not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbalist predicted her death today today this 25th the herbalist predicted that is today that she would die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood 
there is a rod of a higher priesthood. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking somebody tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I, I am, am that I am. I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship him Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
Aleluya. Aleluya. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is God. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God? Involve God and it becomes possible. That sickness will never go. But with God, that sickness suddenly leaves. That situation will never change. But with God. That's why we are singing that song, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this road let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now Ena na ne na si kanya, saba ne na se na di ani. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost, Emmanuel. His name is God, Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her, no devil will stop her. Your name is called.
Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called. One more time. Your name is called. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Lord, your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. His name is God, Emmanuel, He is called, Emmanuel, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a back approach. I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness I see a number of angels you're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you Jesus are you ready now those outside I see the power of God like files of fire one two at the count of three shout Jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Her, she will come now quickly I call you Lord most high. don't touch her she will come by herself Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free.
the name of Jesus. It's over. Let her go now. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. You died for her. Let her go. I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you all the praise. She's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to her. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the spirit. Out. Out. Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther, please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther. Who is Deborah? Deborah. Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red. Red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look guys, speak to them and let them, you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time. Don't. You will save yourself a lot of energy. It makes no difference who is speaking. Queen, who is queen? you are queen. I need to pray for you. You have a blood condition. Victoria, 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 Victoria. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel, you are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. 
just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, Kai, come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out now. Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You, we pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um, the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing you. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit be free now. In the name of Jesus, let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you. I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people 
are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of god will come upon you and you'll be free just begin to breathe in some of you will feel because the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing it you will feel something leave you just come out of you hallelujah thank you jesus christ be free now out come out of her now in the name of jesus out out of her thank you jesus christ be free right now out out please as i pray for you check yourself he's able out come out i'll pray for you and i'll talk to you in the name of jesus christ i set you free by the power of the holy ghost i set you free by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i set you free be free now in the name of jesus christ be free in the name of jesus christ he's able bring the lady shouting there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of jesus I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God is able. God is able. God. Command that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? 
this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's the situation but it's a, no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and um, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before Ogasa? what couldn't you do before what couldn't you do before what what is it that you could not do before okay come climb let's see if you feel weak again i pray for you just just walk let me see try to jump any weakness don't worry now if you want to jump you fall Shabia, i have prayed for you fall and die here jump <laughs> any weakness any weakness in your body try it again try it again. look at this is somebody that came he said he went to shika huh are you sure don't pretend though are you feeling fine you are completely fine you're here because i saw the spirit of death your own is not just sickness lord it is perfected in the name of jesus please take on your shoes hallelujah the lord is showing me somebody with a condition is this my left or right leg this is left my left leg i don't know if it's a if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there please who is that person the lord wants to heal you right now right now right now right now you're the one oh you can see it you can even see it what's the problem i actually play football you're a footballer I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture now on the leg. There is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Aya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it stand up stand up jump do what you couldn't do just do it test yourself look at this look at see the guys even rejoicing <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture fracture on his leg come on give jesus praise for it on here see let's go there's no pain try doing like this do like this that's how you know whether there was pain or not look at look at look at what you do come on give jesus praise hallelujah god bless you never return your leg come 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 don't worry what's the situation pain there let me see just just the no 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 you don't need to lift your just that point the joint there how long Since two, weeks now. two weeks what happened just like that you woke up and the pain refused to go thank you jesus christ which one do you want you want to lay hands on yourself or i should just pray <laughs> huh? all right but seriously let's pray hold my hands heal her lord set her free right now the power of god is coming upon you that leg in the name of jesus christ no pain see that's the power of god coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any no pain is she's even surprised no pain is give jesus praise 
that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please I'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the Lord showed once God shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of Jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please make sure you only come out for the cases I call why is he out eh? okay let me pray for you father for the mother we agree right now let there be freedom in the name of Jesus look at this look at the miracle your teeth is closed now come come please we need a witness we need a witness is it true don't tell lies here you're in the presence of God where is it sorry can you open your mouth for me to see I'm sorry I'm sorry I hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we're acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when I. it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want you to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who is preparing to go to India for is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You you have a heart problem. Since when did you know about it? February. The doctors told you. What did they say is wrong? Palpitation. Palpitation. Oh. Doctor, doctor. Where's that doctor in Oshas? You are the one self. Oh yeah, Ogasa, what does that mean? Doctor, tell us. 
Huh? Say she has palpitations. Abnormal beating of the heart. Ah, okay. It's loud and you can hear it even when she is. So it's a so you use stethoscope, you can hear it. So it's a serious situation. She will be healed now. You're a doctor now. Wait. You'll go to hospital tomorrow. But for now, my dear, do you believe Jesus will heal you completely? Lay one hand on your chest. Lord, let her be healed right now. The power of God is flowing through you. Just breathe in and out. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Please check yourself. Lord, have mercy on the Father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection in the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke as I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some okay, your dad too of stroke. Because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny, goodness, I sense the power of God, in the name that is above all names, Father, I pray, that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are still going to shout that name over this case. The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One, shake it Two, get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three, be released now. Be released now. Be released now. 
I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, Seek out of the book and read. It said, None of this shall fail, none shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. Now, now, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request? Please, if you don't have it, it's time to begin to write it now. For all those who are sick, you are sick in your body, you came specifically for healing. It's your time now. Please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly stand here believing that God will set you free He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is. I'm going to lay hands on every one of you and as I lay that hands upon you hallelujah I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life whatever the situation is hallelujah worship team lead us in a powerful moment of worship hallelujah Lord we give you the praise thank you for healing in the name of Jesus those of you who are sitting please write your prayer requests once you are done just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Praise me. My Ow. God is he, he can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Protect 
My God is thank you, Lord awesome. Jesus Christ. He can move mountains. Be healed now. He Please, while you're seated, just be praying in tongues. Hide me thank from you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed. My God. Jesus Christ, awesome be healed say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Awesome. Be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, awesome. be healed. Perfection. My God now. is awesome. In the name of Jesus, awesome. perfection in your body awesome. right now. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Just believe. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed now. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. I am that I am. Can you be healed in the name of Jesus Christ? Anything you. Too hard for me to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am that I am. Look aside. Be healed now. That spirit in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray. May my God cause them to visit you. In the name of Jesus. And every power that is stopping your job. In the name that is above all names. The four horns that lift up themselves. Against Judah. Against Jerusalem. Against Israel. I command right now. Let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online 
now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah zekata baba baba kata praga de baladarash zekate prondo koso praga de baladarash sete pro shapara da baladarara zekate baladarabos everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony Rapaka pro so so pretecate. Sidebo shopro dos coprendecate. Secata tatebala rara. Shopro toko to pregadevala rabos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Secata tatebala Rekete bokoto prekete balada bos, bata kapa bakate, e prekete lekete, sote kete pros, e prekete lekete tete, rekete rekese, e pros ko proto subah, lekete balada bakata prekete balada bos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out sit up I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. In the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. Your name. Take 
make an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the king. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus I open every closed door in the name of Jesus I open every closed door let the fragrance of the spirit be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthrough I hear my spirit breakthrough I release breakthrough breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. 
take it now go and heal the sick go and heal the sick you will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed you will cast out devils receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it i pray i command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions sopotopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit I activate it inside and outside take it let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands hold your hands take it now take it now Rapate, I activate the gifts of the spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them Shetete. take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, maka prateke, empletos kepa, matos kopo rekete.
Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every closed door, be open now. 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 I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Hallelujah. Every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names, I command those families to be free now. Be free now. Free from hardship. Free from hardship. The Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion I pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names I cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my god has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here 
I pray, let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry. Everything you see happening here, go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus. I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names. Whatever has stopped your church from growing, whatever has stopped your ministry from growing, I command ministry grow, church grow in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. I'm going to make an altar call right now. If you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus, please listen. This is a very serious moment. We're out of time. You've never made Jesus Lord of your life. Inside and outside, you probably were invited. You may have been a Christian, but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ. I'm going to invite you to come here. Or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you're making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday. Thank you, Jesus, for these ones. Keep coming, keep coming. God bless you, no matter how far. Keep coming. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed of anybody. It's a personal affair tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem i want you to say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood to set me free i receive that freedom tonight and i receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus, from today, I declare that I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life. Forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for making that decision. Let me pray for you, Father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the Lord brought you here to bless you. Thank you so much. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing these ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. All of you who took out the time to come, we really celebrate you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, ministry put to, a program put together by Eternity Network International. Thank you so much for coming. We are here every Friday 
not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace you always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf Koinonia, celebrate them. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salman and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.